In this video, we'll see some more advanced things about the table. The things are like we'll see how to work on the rows, columns and table. How do we insert, delete columns and rows. Next one, we'll see how to work on the merge and split. And also we'll see on the cell alignment and the cell size itself. Let's see that. I have created a database here that's a different columns given as country, days, months and numbers. Purposely, I've written here, I've kept the blank row and the blank column and database in the one cell itself. Now let us see how we can go for it. Yeah. Now this is the empty row which is given here. And if I want to delete this empty row, how to do, how to select that, how to delete that row. So first I'll use this arrow key and I'll click on this place. And once I've selected that, I can go to this layout tab and you see in this rows and columns, there's one option as delete. So whatever rows you have selected, you can just click on this delete rows and the entire row will be deleted. So I'll click on this delete rows, right? So the row got deleted. Similarly, if I want to delete this blank column, I'll first select this blank column. Selected this blank column. Yeah. And then I can go to this place, delete, and I can select delete columns. So I can select and delete columns. So this column will be deleted. Similarly, if you want to delete the entire table, I can go to this place and I say as delete table. So now the table also got deleted. But the only way to get it back, you have to press Ctrl Z from a keyboard or you can just click on this undo and you'll get the table back itself. Now let us see if you want to insert the rows, how we can insert it, very simple. I'll just keep my cursor in the table at any place. Yeah, so I've kept my cursor at this place. Now if I want to insert a row above this, I can just select this cell or row and I can go to this layout tab and you see these are the options available. So first thing it will say as insert above, second says insert below. I'll click on this insert above so if I click on insert above, it says insert a row above this selected cell. If I click on this cell, insert below, a row will be inserted, blank row below the selected cell. Similarly, if I want to add a column, how do I add it? I can add before or I can add it after. So I'll select this insert left. So it will create a column on the left hand side. And if I click, keep my cursor here. And if I say insert right, so if I click on insert right, on the right hand side, the column will be inserted. Right now, I'll try to delete it. I'll just select this and delete columns. Similarly, I want to delete this column. So delete columns. And I'll delete this rows also. Right, so I've come back to the normal place now. Now, if you observe the next one, if you see the database is written, actually this is the heading of the table and this database is written in just one cell. What I can do is I can just merge all the four cells into one cell using the option as merge cells. This is the merge cells. Right now it is not activated because which cells it should merge. So what I'll do is I'll select this three cells or four cells and I can just click on this merge cells. So once I click on this merge cells, all the borders will be removed from this four cells click on merge cells and the text will be in between. Now I can just format this text using this home tab and I can just increase the size and I can just change the color of this anything. I can just write it black color this way. So I can merge the cells. If I want to split the cells also, I can do the same method. This one cell can be split into two parts. So I'll just first select the cell, selected the cell and I can go to the layout tab and you see there's a split cells. It will, once I click on the split cells, it will give me a dialog box. It will say, you want to split a cell into how many columns and how many rows. So I say, I only want into two columns and just one row, not more than that. So if I click on this, okay, you see this is split into two columns and one row. That is the one row and these are the two columns itself. So this is how you can work on the split and merge cells. Okay, let's see the next one. I have something known as height and width. What is this height and width? If I keep my cursor in the days tab and if I click on this plus sign or the height one, you see the height of the row is increased. If I want to decrease the uh, row height, I can use the next option this way. Decrease the row height, increase the row height like this. And same applies for the width of the column. So if I click on this increase size, the width of the column increases and same way you can decrease also. The other method is you can just put here a number. Let's say if I put a six, click on the other option. So the width of the column increases. Now, if you see all the columns and rows, they are not in the proper alignment. They are not of equal size, right? So height and width increases column or you can say as one column or one row itself at a time. 
Now, now if I want to distribute the rows and columns equal height and equal width, how should I do that? So you see this row height is extra and this column width is extra. So what I'll do is I'll select this and click on this distribute rows. Now observe what will happen. If I click on distribute rows, all the rows will become of equivalent height. I repeat, all the rows will become of equivalent height. Similarly, if I click on distribute columns, the column which has taken extra space will come back. If I click on distribute columns, so you see they have taken the equivalent space. Let us try one more. If I just increase the height of this column, this uh, row, and if I click on distribute rows, it becomes of equivalent height. So you don't have to take effort to you know uh, put the alignment at the proper place. Automatically, this thing can be done. So I hope you have understood how to work on rows and columns, merge and split cells, and increase and decrease the column height and row height, row width itself. That's all for this video.